Hi, I'm Dave here, and today we're going to do another art session video, and it's the the it's the 19th of November. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I, I should have done one yesterday. Did I say that right? Should should I have? I should have did one. I should have fuck. I skipped the day essentially and um I want this to be more of a daily thing. So let's just uh, head over to Clip Studio Paint. Here we go. Here we have a blank canvas and uh Yep, let's begin. So I'm going to hit S for the the sub view. Um Oh shit, it's not working. Um <laughs> Well shit, bro. Um I may have to uh Let me just go back to this view. Uh, apologies. I should have uh I think I did edit my workspace a bit, so I'm going to have to uh, update a few things. Or I think I accidentally uh, deleted the old one, so I I may have to uh do some things here. Um Window. I think it's better if I go back to Clip Studio Paint. And then I'm going to hit the full view so you can actually see my settings here. And then I'm going to find uh, the sub view window. There you go. Oh shit, I think I did delete it. Okay, I did shortcut. I'm going to hit um, S. Hit OK, and then hit OK. I'm going to um, hide the full view again. I'll just work on the side or behind the scenes, and uh, I'm going to save the the workspace. Register workspace. Um, I think it's important to to make and uh, update your own workspace just because. Oh shit. Delete, delete. Sometimes when I use the same name for the workspace, it doubles in Clip Studio Paint. I'm not sure why. So, but hey, it's fine. So, um, yeah. So if I do hit the full view again, you can see my quick access here. I did add the record time lapse and the export time lapse because in Clip Studio Paint you do have a feature where you can record your um painting session or art session and it's fixated on the actual canvas now i'm not sure what happens if it changed the canvas along the way but um you know i want to see how it's going to turn out if i do prop and change the canvas as i go through a painting so if i hit s um you can see it here let me just uh, bring it to the side. There you go. Um, I do like this reference. Let me just go back a bit. Um, I'm going to I'm going to delete this because it's not useful. Um, I'm going to keep the ones that have more information. I can kind of go back through them. Um, eventually. I mean, I do still have photos in my laptop you can actually just import them in so it's not actually saved or if i delete this it's not like deleted forever so i'm not worried um but yeah so i think i did work on this guy um the day before yesterday so we'll see now this one's kind of too small so i'm going to delete this guy and this one is it's so similar to this guy the position so i may have to skip him a bit Mm, this one's a bit too boring. This one's okay, but I do need a bit of a headshot. But this one's fine. It has more information. I think I like it. So I'm going to pull this guy just a bit over here and uh, yeah. Now I can always um hide the full view. 
Oh god. Um. But if I unlock this, what happens? Or if I hide full view? Oh, okay. If it's docked in the, the program, in the main window, you will still be able to see it. But if I don't, or if I undock it, once I hit or undo the full view, only you can see, or only I can see the sub view and the quick access bar um, right here. So um, I think I should just leave it off for now. Um, you know what? Maybe not. I'll just dock it like a good person. Um, let me zoom out just a bit and move it right here. Um, and I think I did make a decision when it comes to my brushes. Um, I'm going to delete uh, the blending brushes in the brush um, tool just because I don't think it's uh, efficient to keep going back between a painting brush and a blending brush. So I did move most of it here. So all I have to do is switch between this brush, say a painting brush, and say a blending brush right here. So it's more efficient and I don't have to, uh, it feels better if it's separated. So I may have to make another folder just for uh, the blending brushes where I can, you know, I'll, I'll essentially save the SUT files in one folder um, eventually. So I think I'm going to delete them now this guy because it's pretty much transferred over here so you'll see me edit it live and the delete sub tool i'll just i'll hit this hit delete delete and i think in the oils we also have three delete delete and delete so now i think it's more efficient this way like everything is just a painting brush um so it's more efficient so for this study, I think I'm going to hit to this side. Um, maybe markers. I don't know. By the way, the canvas size I have now is a 1920 by 1080. So, um, yeah. I'm going to hit maybe some oils. Since we're doing some mechs, I think it helps to be a bit more defined. So I think I'm going to go with this guy. With a flat brush. Um. And by the way, I am using my, I'll, I'll, just, I'll hit delete and just delete everything. Um, I am using my XP pen pro 13.3 pro, um, except it's a screen display, but it did turn it off the screen. So I'm using it more as a graphic tablet. And uh, so it's nice to have that bit of flexibility. So I think I should start always with the, not always, but in general with the big shapes, with the, the silhouette. Um, um, it's not bad again to color pick. Um, and yes, I think I'm planning to extend the canvas. So, oh shit, I should have hit record. Hunt. Sorry. Now you won't be able to see it because I'm going to end the video and um, I'll have to review it after. But, uh, yeah. You know what? Fuck it. Let me just get this guy, delete, and turn off. I'm going to delete everything again and then hit record. There you go. So now I can see things from the very beginning. And it's nice. Uh, this feature is pretty cool in Clip Studio Paint. Because the recording is just fixed on the canvas, so... Um, especially when you're doing time-lapse videos, sometimes it can look a bit weird if you're too fast or if the clip, the video runs too fast. So, having that sense of stability in the video is pretty cool. Although the downfall or the, 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 it's sad, I guess, because it doesn't go, like the final video output is just maxed out at 1280. So you can't really get the full HD, like the typical 1920 by 1080. Um, but you know, it's it's good enough. Maybe in the future, I'm pretty sure they can find a way to uh, fix this issue. Um, I think I'm color picking too much. 
I think I should focus more on the the silhouette. So I shouldn't be worried too much about the um the colors, just the general impressions first. I can clean it up as I go. And yes, I'm going to uh, this is more of a warm-up session and it's a great way again to start the day. So if you're kind of struggling with your art, I think it's good to just uh, start your day with a painting. Just one hour or 30 minutes. And just have reference on the side, like you can see me do now. Um, whether it be Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint, or just have another photo window on the side. And although I do recommend using or importing the photo in your program so you can color pick, is the less decisions you have to make, the better. This is more of a warm up study. And uh, you're kind of building up your visual library as well. Oh shit, you see me doing this? I'm not even focusing on the silhouette. Ugh. Um, so shadow, shadow, silhouette. Maybe I should just zoom out. So if I extend this canvas or this view just a bit more, um, I think I can move this guy, this whole layer to the side. I'm holding shift, by the way, as you can see. Um, oh, by the way, I have no idea how to turn this guy off. Like if I hit control, shift, alt, it's kind of annoying. Maybe you feel the same way. It used to not show up, but somehow it just did. Um, so the gun is around here. It doesn't have to be exact. Just get the impression. Um, so hopefully, maybe you're kind of like me. You're kind of impressionistic, very, very painterly. Should I paint the background? I don't think so. Maybe I should put this guy slightly higher over here. Um... Maybe just squish it more. Kind of like this. Do you put it on top? Eh, it's fine. Um, so yeah, there you go. Move it further to center. Um, there you go. Maybe I'll leave the background as is, just white. And I think it will help you focus more on the the mech. And maybe that was the, the issue with my previous study. I guess I was just too focused on the on painting. On trying to make it look like a painting instead of studying the forms and shapes. And um, this goes back to being deliberate with your studies. Some indication of light, just a bit of blob there. Separate the head just a bit. Um, there's some kind of sword in the back. Pretty cool. Now this one is from the, the anime Mov Love. This reference snapshot photo. Um, I do like the mech designs. Very, very bulky and in a way more realistic than say Gundam or Evangelion types of uh, mechs. Shit, I think I'm focusing again on the detail too much. Okay. So I'm not necessarily a shapey person. I'm already, I like, I have a tendency to be impressionistic. So I think I should take advantage of that and just add in some blobs. And I think eventually I, I'll learn, I'll learn how to clean up the shapes. So you don't, there's no one way to do things. Excuse me. Um, I'm back. Um, I just muted the mic there. Um, anyway, let's go back to this guy. Ooh. Oh. Focus on the silhouette. The legs are pretty thick. It's pretty much filled up. Some kind of shadow here. I think it helps if you zoom out even more. Oh shit, it looks more like an actual mech at this stage. Um. Oh, I'm color picking. I'm not supposed to do that for now. Some indication of light. Because most of the, this arm is in shadow and even the gun. By the way, I do have a pen tilt feature in the XP Pen Pro. 13.3 uh, Pro, so 
um, if you don't have this feature, this brush will just end up looking like this, like a flat. Like it only goes in one way, so. Pen tilt is very useful. Um, you're going to be pretty limited if, unless you're using some kind of round brush, like a basic brush or a fixed brush. It's, it's not a problem, but it kind of takes away from that manual artsy kind of look. It's going to make your work a bit too, or look a bit too digital, and uh, you want to have that human aspect to your work. Ooh, human aspect. Ooh. Um, there are other things that kind of frustrate, not frustrate me, but you can't align the same way you can in Photoshop. I mean, in a, in a way, I do kind of get it just because um, Clip Studio Paint is not really a... It's not for graphic design. It's more for comics and illustration. So I get it, but... Okay. So this is one whole hand or one whole arm. Shadow. I think I got the gist of this whole thing. So maybe I'll make a new layer. I'll lock this guy. Yep. So maybe we can uh, see its face by face. I'm going to limit myself to just the these sketching brushes. Um. So we have kind of a hard. Ed this one's more of a soft brush. This one's a softer brush, but it's flatter. I'll try sculpting with should I limit myself to the to this flat brush? We'll try this guy first. In a way, we're kind of we're kind of feel like I'm becoming not becoming, but I'm I feel like I'm emulating Shinku Kim because Shinku Kim likes to use his flat brush. A lot of his mech sketches um util utilize a some kind of flat brush. And um it's nice. Looks really cool, and um, it really fits the the subject as well. Flat brush, hard edged, very very mechanical types of artworks um, or designs. So I do know this is a hand, but I can't really see the detail here because it's mostly in shadow, and we're pretty zoomed out even in this photo. So am I doing it the right way? Should I start sketching in the forms? Um, I feel like I want to add a bit of background, but I feel like I'm cheating or not cheating, but I'm not being focused if I do that. So let me just uh, add a bit of shadow. Maybe I'm focusing too much on the, um, the, the design too soon or the details too soon. So it's kind of blocking the back just a bit. Is my brush size too big? Ooh, go me, nasai. Um, um, dark shadow here. It has a sharp chin in a way. Again, we're seeing this from afar, so I guess we're solving a lot of problems. Um, in this way. Um. Even though I say to solve problems from afar, um, I still have a habit of zooming in. Um, I need to get used to painting in this level first and then eventually adding detail later on. So hopefully this process will eventually, um, well, hope is a bad strategy. I've been hearing, I, I've been hearing that a lot, like hope is not a strategy, so I shouldn't depend on it, but. What's the pattern here? What's what's the pattern? A turn. Um, if you paint the same thing or the same subject subject enough times, eventually you're going to get a a sense of it. So you're going to have a feel for the thing, which is not bad. So you're kind of importing or 
updating your knowledge visual library bank by just painting and eventually you'll just get it i guess maybe that's not a good strategy it's a bit too vague but um I'm going to paint major part here. Again, it helps if you have a brush that has a pen tilt kind of feature. Um, and if you're using a graphic tablet, I am using my screen display as a graphic tablet, so this is totally possible. But I still recommend um, having a brush that has a pen or a tablet that has a pen tilt feature. But if you can't afford it now, it's fine. Just use a square or round brush. And, um, yes. By the way, I did receive a comment from, um, I wasn't able to comment yet, but eventually I will. But I did see it in the, in the uh, notifications, I believe. Let me just hide uh, the full view. I'm going to go to this guy. And I'm just going to find his comment. What's his name? I saw your name, Vester something. Vester. Vester. Um. Oh God. Where is the comment? I can't see it. Oh. Vesper Talino. He commented on the. You commented on the. Uh, go all the way in video, and I believe it worked for you. So that's good. Um. So I guess I'm going to have to do it as well. Because <laughs> I, I guess if you just keep constraining yourself, or um, so I would say if you keep if you keep, if you just burn your boats, I guess, um, and take away the possibility of going back, you're going to have to find a way to uh, learn it, or not learn it, but do the thing. So. Yeah, I think I just lacked faith as well in myself, and um, it's it's part of self sabotage. It happens, but yeah. So whenever I'm slowing down, I I just have to remind myself that this is going to, if this if this is going to be my thing, I can't go back. There is no um, tomorrow. Um, like this is the way. That's a Mandalorian quote or reference there um i also like the sword of this mech if you've seen the full version or the the whole sword it's kind of curvy and very very it kind of balances out the blockiness of the mech quite interesting um again i am shit let me just hit seven again just to be yeah if i hit this guy it's a, my personal shortcut as you can see it's uh 1920 by 1080 so i'm going to hide the full view i don't think you need to see it for now and we're going to limit ourselves to just this flat brush so uh, maybe i could change brushes if, uh, later as i add more detail who knows but um yeah um so let me just hide this i did get the gist in this level and then this is the second paint over. Um, and maybe you should time your paintings. So for now, I think we're heading to uh, 30 minutes. So maybe I can spend 5 more minutes just um, adding a bit more refinement in this stage. And then in the next 30 minutes, who knows, um, I'll just add more detail maybe. Um... I think doing studies like these daily really um i haven't done it long enough though so i can't really say i have to do it for quite some time and yes the plan is to do these ones every day and hopefully you do join me um and challenge yourself to paint and sketch with me for just an hour you don't have to do it with me um i mean i suggest you do just because it's fun um and yeah I'm really only doing this just because it's a way to keep myself accountable and it's a way to just post a video 
Um, it is still content and I'm also helping someone not feel alone. Like a lot of art content is essentially like most content. It's a way for you to not feel alone. It's kind of scary, sad, but uh, well, not sad, but it's nice, you know, it's real and yes. Um, Oh, I think I'm skipping the legs a bit. Oof, pretty close. Let's add some lights here. That's a bit of a blob here. Blob. Shadow. As you can see. Oh, you can see the this is a, a crotch area. Although it's not as defined. Like it's hard to see the actual edge. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, Feng Zhu does this thing where he I'm going to hit 7 again so you can see the full view he hits the selection tool now he's using Photoshop obviously but it would be the lasso tool in Photoshop and he would do this and he would paint in the same layer and then um, to push this out this part further he's going to uh, put this full thing behind it back by using a um soft brush so the selection is still there by the way so if you hit the soft brush here i may have to move this sketch over here because it's too the premium uh, sketch brushes are kind of basic anyway so i'll have to change that as well um so we're hitting the soft brush and then we'll lighten the value in the back by just Adding a bit of fade in it. I'll go back. I'll hit B again and then add a bit of white. Make the brush slightly smaller and do this. And maybe we can do the same for the arms. So by the way, my shortcut for the selection is M. That's my personal shortcut. I'm, I want to separate this arm a bit more. Um, if I do this, maybe we'll, just, we'll start with the shoulder. Oh shit! In Photoshop, you can find a way to um, do a polygon. Like if you hit Alt, you can make this a sharp selection. But in Lip Studio Paint, you can't. It doesn't switch. Hopefully, you know what I mean. So it's kind of it's it, it's a sad thing, but. It's enough. It works. Let me just maybe hit this guy instead. Like you can go from a manual to a more straighter kind of selection. Now for this case, we're using this because it's mostly a mech. So it's hardly going to have any soft um, shapes. Not so accurate, but we'll try a lighter value here. And maybe some kind of light gray. Now we can't you can't overdo it because it's not an environment like the parts are pretty close to each other anyway but it's still good to have that sense of separation um and it helps with the foreshortening of things shit um what else can i do here maybe this guy should be ahead as well Hit B. Maybe a gray. Now this is more of a creative thing. And it has a nice look. So I recommend checking out the paintings of Bengju. Shit. Escape. Shit. Deselect. It's not. I'm not mm, used to it as much but eventually i'll get there um eh? sketch flat brush shit i i just reached 30 minutes but i think we, we can play around just a bit more um i don't have to copy everything here did i achieve the mech with less brush strokes because there's always time to detail things i don't have all um or a lot of time i only have an r so does this thing look like a mech? I think so, but I feel like we can do more 
and defining the the parts of it. So I do know this whole thing. This is a shit. Um, my clips to the paint is lagging, so I'll just be careful. Um. Um, let me just take a break, just a bit. Uh. Um, I'm back. Sorry. Um. Anyway, um. That was a very short break, but kawaii. Um, kawaii. Let me just zoom in just a bit more. Oh, it's hard to zoom in. It's not as intuitive to zoom in here. Indeed, the sub view. Like, I can't hit Z and kind of dynamically zoom in. Like the way I can with this, um, in this view. Oh, shit. Oh. You know what? Fuck it. I think I should. Yeah, I'll just leave it there. I'll save the zooming in for later. For later? For later? I need to separate the big parts first with this big ass flat brush. I mean, right? Or I mean, right? Um. By the way, I, uh. I saw. Or I was updated, like I'm subscribed to this newsletter by James Clear. And one of his findings um, from a... Like he shared this idea of... It's from a scientist named Anne something. I may have to do an art talk on it. Just because it's such a cool concept. But um, I'll get, I'll, I guess I'm going to give you a preview. It's not a very big concept. or It's a simple concept, but... It did leave an impact on me, and I think it's worth sharing. Um, and the idea is this. Not all of your problems have to be overcome. You just have to overcome the ones that are in the way of your goals. Now, I, I did butcher it a bit there, but <laughs> the point is, there are so many problems in this world, right? And it seems like we have to fix everything, but that shouldn't be your focus. Now, when I say this, it doesn't mean you don't see the problems. There are problems. The, the whole changing, the resetting of this whole um, system, if you're aware, but... That should not be your focus. I guess it's okay to be aware, but the thing you need to be focused more on is what's right in front of you. And, um... It's a, it's a great way to just... Because um, I think often, or a lot of times, we feel pressured. And I think this is why... Or this contributes to us procrastinating, because it feels like we have to do everything. And I believe it, I did mention this in the how to stop procrastinating art talk um a few episodes back in the art talk series and um i guess a way to reduce that pressure is to understand that you don't have to solve all of the problems all of the the problems you have you don't have to overcome all of them you can recognize them it's okay but you don't have to actually solve them and maybe there's a bit of guilt there like you have to do something but you can't really solve that problem problem if you can't even solve your own problems, the problems that are essentially right in front of you. And, um, it's, um, it's the truth. It's once I saw, read that simple concept, I was like, it kind of relieved me a bit. And, um, I'm also listening to this uh, podcast. It's more of, um, it's not exactly a red pill channel. <laughs> it's kind of a comedy entertainment slash. Because he does give 
it's not just about relationships because a lot of uh, so-called red pill content like when people say it it's like all it's almost always about relationships um but it's not like it's based from a film the matrix but the red pill idea is like the essentially you're not awake it's kind of cringy to say that but uh you're a bit more aware um because once you learn one idea once you've shattered a certain perspective it just leads to a spiral of like holy shit like this is the way um the world works and you don't really have like you, you lose that innocence essentially and um so yeah i'm watching this um podcast or a channel by coach greg adams um the, the channel the specific channel name is a free agent lifestyle and the, one of his recent episodes talked about or he talked about how or he used the idea of boxing um and he said like what do coaches say to their boxers when they're fighting um and the advice you usually hear i guess is to keep their hands up and to uh, protect themselves so it's not to focus on the crowd not to focus on anyone else not to focus on not to focus on saving the crowd from being beaten up by other folks it's to focus on the guy that's right in front of you because if you don't focus on him he's going to keep beating you and um so it's a it's an analogy that says or that indicates or that shit shows you that you have to focus on what's right in front of you so you don't have to save everyone it's not like you even can focus on you first so i'm assuming you're an artist so focus on your art bro or bro s and i'm not you can recognize the problems in this world but how can you actually solve them if you can't solve your own problems Oof. and yes you're going to feel guilty because i do feel somewhat guilty if i can't help others but how can i help others if i can't help myself so especially if you haven't established yourself yet um you know because it's you can only help so much given with given your current standing i'm assuming so you're going to have to tune things out and um, it's kind of painful but you do have to do it there is no other way you have to focus on yourself Am I being too detailed? You know what? I'm not even zoomed in, so it's not a bad thing. And oh, by the way, I am recording this also, not just with OBS, but with the, the CSP Clip Studio Paint time lapse feature. So uh, maybe you can share it as a GIF. Who knows? Um, oh, by the way, there is a community tab on YouTube. It used to be the discussion tab, so I'm not sure how to uh, actually make use of it, but I'll try posting something. Um, to um maybe it can bring up engagement who knows no freaking idea now, this one is darker um so how long oh, it's, it's been 39 ish minutes going on 40 40 and uh, yeah um let me just clean up oh there's something in the back here now it's mostly in shadow so oh yes let's learn something from the last artist we reviewed thomas pringle um he is very impressionistic and he doesn't detail everything some parts are just again like uh, left as silhouettes so this whole thing could just be as is because it still looks like a mech but even this arm it's mostly in shadow anyway so now obviously eventually you could there's always time to add detail and refine your edges, but if it looks right from this view, like the people or the, the person seeing this thing is going to assume that this is a norm, that this is some kind of um, appendage. So. Now I could use the eraser tool to erase the edge, but I think it's better to just paint it over. But then again, if you change the background color here, 
let me just hit seven for the or the the full view sorry if you change the background you can see the i'll try this you can see this so it's kind of eh so if you're planning to do something with the background you're going to have to use the erase tool but wow this looks kind of cool eh <laughs> wow this looks amazing uh, maybe i can use some kind of filter oh shit i'm procrastinating i'm going to go back and hit this guy wow that looks really cool eh damn um so maybe in the future i can just erase shit but Anyway, I'm going to uh, go back here. Um, and what are we going to define? I think I was working on the, the gun a bit. I guess I'm actually trying to be a bit more accurate now. Maybe that's a bad move. That's a bad move. Um, Let's say Transformers reference. I think, I believe Ironhide did it. That was a bad move. Feeling lucky, punk? I think it's, um, was Ironhide referencing Clint, 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 East, Clint Eastwood? Because he's not really from my generation, obviously, because he's old as hell. But, um, he has a nice cowboy kind of look. Very, very manly kind of look. I'm not sure what this thing is, but we're going to just jot it in. So. I think this is a better study. Well, not really. How can I judge this? Um, This leg is abysmal. Let me just do this. Now I'm on the outside. Now this whole thing is in shadow, yes? The, the forearm, this kind of forearm thingy. Let me define the edge right here, as you can see. Do this. Now this thing is also in shadow, like a, this part of a leg. I want to make this arm pop out even more. Add a bit of shadow, not too much, but shadow, shadow. I'm going to hit the this selection tool. You know what? Fuck it, we'll go manual this time. We'll hit the lasso tool. Oof. Now it's hard. Now I did say I was using the the tablet as a graphic tablet so the screen display is turned off so it's visually and not visually but it is harder to make selections when you don't have a screen display um so consider that when buying a tablet go here use a soft brush increase the brush size the yeah just a bit and then a lighter gray just to make it pop out even more It work go back maybe just a, just just a tad bit more Ugh, too too strong there you go mm. wow i think it works i think it works um now i'm on the outside oh shit sketch brushes flat brush Um, I'm going to mute the mic for a moment. Um, so I could always use the, the, the please stand by scene or just mute the mic to, uh, because they often have like a jug of water beside me. Um, so I've been painting for 45 minutes-ish. Well, not really because I did talk in the beginning like I, like I usually do. So I think I'm going to spend the last 15 minutes. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lock this now. And I, I should learn how to stop. Like uh, uh, and sequence my painting sessions. Or I should learn how to sequence my painting sessions and separate it into different parts. I'm done with this guy. Let me just lock this guy. Oh shit, it's right here. So 
we have this we have from this view it already works it it kind of looks like a mech already it's more of the impression of the mech the, the rough chunks of the mech and now i think we can make a we can make a new layer and for me my personal shortcut is Control alt n that's my personal shortcut so i recommend making your own um or you could just hit this guy but yeah not my thing and i'm going to use a flat brush did i use the same brush or this guy it's a softer brush it's i use this a lot for organic creature designs but maybe we can use it to define this guy even more um i'm going to um hit seven again it's my um my clip studio paint is kind of reloading on the side um like it's saving i guess so sorry I guess I'm going to zoom in just a bit. Just a tad bit. And then use this to uh this brush to sculpt. This one's okay. The the brush shape is actually from Clip Studio Paint. But um whatever. It's more of a general sketching brush, like a chalk, but this guy is awesome. By the way, if you're interested in my brushes, just check out the link below and help support the show. So, yeah. Um, so, as you can see, I did clean up the, the cover. In the last video, I did say I was going to clean it up where I had the new cleaned up version just because um, the one before had so many sample strokes within it. And to me, it's not necessary because most of my sales are from where it's... Uh, they're from YouTube or uh, the person buying the product is usually from YouTube or comes from YouTube. So chances are they've already seen it. So it doesn't make sense to uh, um, uh, the point is you got to be simple. You can't overdo things. And um, yes. So if I hide and unhide layers, does it affect the the time lapse? Maybe, maybe not. Oh shit! You know what? Fuck it. I'm I'm, I'm not going to zoom in too much. Um, if you notice, Anthony Jones his uh, streams or his mentorship videos, he hardly zooms in, and he still produces some decent looking. Decent is kind of like an understatement, but he produces some nice artwork. So. Even that's an understatement, but you get the point. Um, now I'm Monday outside. Oh shit, why am I not painting? Oh shit. Um, am I in the full view? No, I'm not. You can't really... Oh, is there something here on the side? Oh, it gets cut off, but it's somewhere... Over the rainbow. Would it look good in the end, or... Would it make it look muddy? Who knows? Um... So let's commit. Let's commit. There's only really one way to find out if using this brush is okay or works well with a flat brush. Um, I just drank some water there. Um, I go man, that's I. Even the details of this gun isn't even that necessary. I'll just hit the blacks here. Add a bit of a hole. Ugh. Go man. Nasai. Yeah, I'm gonna take the nasai. Um, so if you're Japanese again, I, I apologize. Um. 
But then again, it's your fault. It's your people's fault. You have perverted mankind with your hentai. Um, but then again, man was always um, perverted. You've simply doubled down and unleashed the inner workings of man's perversion. Um, anyway, you are not alone. That's a Evangelion um, reference. You are open parentheses not close parentheses alone um i'm not sure why what it actually means but i don't know explain it should i be focusing on the gun i'm not even sure if this is a is there's is there an opening here of some kind is it supposed to be like this i can't actually see the photo really well because it's a bit it's a bit weird shit F it. And it, you know what? Maybe this brush is okay. So I, cause I can actually sculpt it a bit. It was hard to sculpt with just the flat brush. Um, but in this way, I think I do have an opportunity. An opportunity. Let me just erase, or not erase, but define the edge here. Really show that there is this protrusion from the actual forearm shield thing. So I need to separate the values just a bit more. Now it's more diagonal, more sharp. Or not sh um, it's not curved. It's kind of like this. Oh, I think I overdid it. Too strong of a value, but. I think it's getting harder because I'm going smaller and I'm not even using the screen display, so it is what it is. Um this is one this one is blacker here, so let me just separate this guy. Just back again. This one is in, it, this is an entire part, but in shadow. We use black to do this sort of thing. Something goes right here. Some kind of block, some kind of block. As you can see, the edge isn't that clean, but it's okay for me. This one is slightly lower. I did use a mixer brush of some kind to soften the edges, or you could just paint over it with a softer-ish kind of brush or some kind of chalk brush. Um, so we'll just indicate this circle here. Same thing here. It doesn't have to be exact, but it should be there. See that it's more cool it's easier to sculpt things because it's not exactly not everything here is like hard edged like there are curvy parts did this mech so oh yeah the the edge corners some light value not too strong but it's there did i overdo it the shadow kind of uh jumps like a staircase now this one's not exact, but if I hide and unhide, okay, there's a bit more sculpting involved. So this shows you that over time we're going to, you know, define things eventually. Um, so we're at 55 minutes now. I think this was a good session. Um, maybe I should spend more time in the head. Um,
Maybe that can clear things up just a bit more. Like, just clean up the edges and make it look less sketchy. Some design here. Oof. Now, again, it's hard to see the details, so... Yeah, I think when you're trying to sketch things within an R, within an R um, especially, especially if you're trying to sketch the whole thing, why are you adding details? You know, there's a time and place. If you're doing a 3R, 5R painting, 7R, 12R, 20R painting, sure. But if you're doing a 1R painting, like, why are you trying to be as defined? Um, maybe eventually you can make it look defined. Um, but that's really through efficiency. Um, if you're doing, like, studies, it's going to take a while for you to get the, uh, the gist of things. Yes. So this one's darker. Something here. It's hard to see, but it's there. There's a value change. So the shoulder of this mech is pretty big. It's pretty bulky. The the the, the, the holes here are kind of holy. Um <laughs> no pun intended, but um Is that a pun? Shit. Very, very rough indication of holes. And it's not even going with the perspective, so this sucks, but... We'll make do, boys. We'll make do. Um, ugh. So meh. Rounded corners. Oh, what is happening here? So it's kind of like this. Oh, it cuts here, so it's hard to see. We have about two minutes left. Uh, I'm not sure how to uh, fix things at this point, but... Uh, yeah, maybe I should use the screen display, but fuck it. Let's go raw. Let's go basic. Nice. Hopefully you're sketching something with me and um yes. And understand that you can achieve something like this within an hour. It's not bad. For 30 minutes. You don't you don't you, you don't even have to reach this level. You could just do this. Obviously, if you spend more time, you can reach this level and then this level of detail. Oh, oh obviously the more time spent. On the painting, more opportunities to add more detail, so don't try to rush the detail parts. Focus on the big shapes, on the big forms, and then if you have time, then that's when you add the detail. Right? So this is not a bad study. Way better than the last one. The last one had a bit of that impressionistic gouache look, which I do like. Um, But this one is... Uh, you know, it shows you power and, um, yes, there's something here. This one's supposed to be lower. Um, oh shit, we've passed an R. So I think we're going to stop the, the session here and, um, let me just have a sip of water. So we're back. So let me just zoom in. It's It doesn't have that much detail, but you know, if you zoom out and flip the canvas, Hey, not a bad mech, eh? Now, obviously, if, if we spent an R more, more detail. Another R after that, more detail. But this, I think, is a good study. 
You know what? Fuck it. Let me just try changing the background again. Something more like this. Now, how do, can, can we delete this white shit? Um, can we use a blending mode of some kind? Fuck it. I'm going to group all of these together. Add a mask. Can you add a mask? I'm going to hit B. Or I think I have to use E. Let me just hit 7 so you can see my eraser, eraser brushes here. Shit. I'll hit E. That's my personal shortcut and sh personal shortcut fuck. Um, yeah, I think this, this works. Or maybe I can just use a round brush. You know what? Fuck it. I'll use this guy. So. I think this has a nice look to it. What do you think? I think. Yeah, so we'll spend some time and just chat a bit and erase. Um, I do have to update my eraser brushes. Um, it's not in the, the brush pack, but um, I could uh, essentially duplicate the painting brushes and then just set it on eraser. Because they're essentially brushes, but they're meant to just erase. So... Um, Now, I think having a bit of white in the edge is not a bad look. So if you're trying to change the background eventually, or if you want to change the background eventually, you may have to do some erasing while painting. Um, now, am I procrastinating? I'm pretty much done. Okay, I'll use round one. This. Or... What is that? What the fuck? Uh, maybe these are default brushes, but they have some kind of setting that makes them not work as well. I'm going to use this guy instead. Am I wasting time? Fuck it, we'll go back to this guy. Um, if we zoom out, does it actually work? I think the red is too strong. I haven't changed much. If I turn it off, fuck me. Yeah, this one's better. Let me just fuck it. I've committed, so <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm not doing it justice if I just leave. You know, it feels kind of wrong. Um, because you know I'm a nice guy, and I just I feel like if I leave this painting hanging, it's it's kind of a dick move. You know what I mean? I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I know my worth. I have value. Um. <laughs> um. By the way, don't say that. It's so weird. Um. Anyway, I'm pretty close. Yeah. The, 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 it's, it doesn't have to be perfect. This thing is not to be. It's not meant to be presented. I guess. Um. But it shows you what you can achieve in an R. I'll hit B again. Now in Photoshop, it's uh you have to hit black or white, but in Clip Studio Paint, whenever you're using layer masks, you have to switch between between the brush and the eraser. So that's the the main difference. So maybe I can leave this as is. 
It's okay, but fuck it. Let me just hit gray. Hmm. It's okay. We'll make it darker. Ugh, disgusting. Lighter gray, maybe a, a tint of red. Just a bit. Oof. Pink. Nah, fuck it. We'll leave it as is. There you go. Um... Um, so that's it for this um, art session, um, November 19th, so we're at November 19th, um, so yeah, so hopefully you're inspired, and yeah, just spend one hour a day, usually I'd recommend first thing in the morning, just because it's a great way to start the day, and the use reference, have the sub view on, on the side, so you can sketch uh, wood reference, and you don't really have to think so much about um, much, um, so yeah, so keep drawing. Um, keep painting, keep learning, and stay free.